This is Coogan Cassius for iPhone London. We're at the Copper Box Arena here in Stratford for the media workout. With me, I've got... He's such Derek. a liar. I didn't do a media workout. But this was tagged as a media workout, so... Yeah, it was tagged, but I didn't do one, so tell the public the honest. Huh? This is Coogan Cassius for iPhone London. We're at the Copper Box Arena here in Stratford for Derek Chisora just walking through the door and doing some interviews. Is that better? He's such a liar. I didn't walk through the door. I flew. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking, huh? All right. Derek, first of all, what is this attire that you have around your neck and why first have you got of all, it on? Why are you doing here? Ain't you supposed to be in Vegas? Because no. last time I saw you on, on Instagram, you had Floyd Mayweather right, right in the back like you're one of the securities giving a lardy dardy. Now you're here with us. <laughs> I thought you'd be at a big fight. Why are you not I'm there? A, well, listen, we're here, aren't we? No, no, but why are you not there? It's not about where you were, it's about where you are. Why come they didn't give you passes? I don't know, man. Maybe the fight was too big. And Do you we want me to call we this guy and then have some words with him? It's a bit too late now. because I'll make him an offer you can't refuse. <laughs> Trust me. Really? Yeah. What's his name? What's the guy's name? John. Okay, I'm going to get John. Don't you worry. Get, you get John. Yeah, get John on the blower right now. <laughs> <laughs> John, I'm sorry, John, we're cool. No, next one, we're there. Like, no, John, I'm joking. John, John's cool. Now, you know what? Um, for for me, this whole week has been a sad, sad, sad week for me. You know, uh, I lost one of my close friends. You know, he had problems. He didn't tell nobody. He didn't bother sharing any his problems with anybody. And then uh, he, he decides to kill himself. But he will be missed in the boxing world because the guy knew boxing. Do you know if you, you know, Dean Powell? If you ask him any question about any fighter, he will tell you. You know, in the Amer Americans loved him. You know, everybody loved him. Even you guys in Somalia who can fight, but we didn't know about him. But he knew. And the last day I asked him, I said, on Monday when we were talking about the game plan about this fight, and then that's the last time I saw him. But wherever he is, man, I love you, man, and I'll see you soon. Yeah, like you said, the the world, the boxing world has been rocked this week by this news of, of Dean Powell. How important was Dean Powell to you in, in your career? Derek? You know, Dean Powell, he's the one, he's a man who put me in a, in a Union Jack. You know, the whole story of Derek Chisora in the Union Jack is because of Dean Powell. Because when I met him in the restaurant, when I was signing a contract with him, he goes, we're going to dress you up in Union Jack, we're going to do this and do this. And we've done it. And right here, that's who I am. You know, every big fight came up, you put my name there first. So I thank him for everything I go. I, it's a God blessing through, through, through Dean. It's been amazing. Some good words from you, Derek. Um, 21st of September, Edmund Gerber, the German. Yeah. Talk to me about him. Obviously, we know about his recent fights with Michael Sprott. Have you had any communication with Michael Sprott about him? Nah, different fighters, different time, you know. Uh, it's going to be very interesting because this guy can fight. And especially if he's never boxed out of Germany, we'll see how he progresses. But mostly, sometimes when people box out of their, not in their countries, they box much better. You know, so uh, my guard will be up. Uh, I don't have to go look for this guy because I know he can't fight back, going back foot. So uh, I'm going to stay in his pocket and then we're going to catch him on, on the counters. Do you feel like now, with your recent two wins, that you're firmly back on the heavyweight scene? Looking I, never, for I never left, you know. You know, the thing with boxing is there has to be a winner and there has to be a loser. So even if you lose 24 fights, as long as you give the public a great fight and you're coming back, they shouldn't write you off, you know. I never left anywhere. I just lost fights, you know, as a normal person. It's like using, it's, it's different maybe in boxing. If you lose fights, people start writing you off. In the Premiership, if you lose a game, they don't write you off. But I think they shouldn't write, write any fighters off if they lost a fight because, you know, there's less fighters out there and there's guys who want to box. So we shouldn't write anyone off. Like, people want to write me off. It's not good. I just think they should support whoever's fighting right now and just enjoy them while they're in their prime. And that's it. Your last fight against Manic Sup, some people deemed it to be a little bit controversial. What do you say to those people that... I, 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 I don't know, you know, he, from, from what I know, the rules of the boxing in all over the whole world, you know, if the guy is counting, you get up at six and then you tell the ref you're right and the ref will look at you and then, you know, you could you don't get up at, at nine, you can't be getting up at nine, that's, are we doing a 12 count here? No, we're doing a 10 count here, you don't get up at nine, 
You know, if Malek Scott wanted to fight, he'd have got up at five or, or six or something like that, not get up at nine. You know, when the ref was saying nine in his face, he was still on the floor, his knee was still down. By the time he got up, he was like, the ref was like, no way, you can't be fighting now. This fight you're fighting next week is for the vacant European heavyweight title, but have you still got one eye on having another shot at the world title? I, 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 to be honest with you, yeah, yeah, and the, the people shouldn't take this the wrong way. I think there's more better fights in in Great Britain than us going to challenge for the world title. You know, there's good mix. You know, Tyson Fury, David Hay, myself. You know, uh, and then if there's a, if this Steve Mitchell loss, you know, uh, we can't write him off. He'll be back again. You know, instead of boxing for the world title, everybody just trying to go like dance with a K2 promotion dance uh, music. We can either just do our own thing, and then when they're ready to give up the titles, and then people can fight for those titles. You know, fighters are making more money than for fighting without for no non world title fights. Are making more money fighting for a world title. So, uh, you know, in my fight me and David Hay, we made money. You know, my European title, I'm making money, you know, making more money before I even box for the world title. So why should I say I want to box for a world title when they're trying to slave you, the Klitsch goes, for the world title which you'll be fighting for? The whole setup is bullshit. And I don't like those guys. The more I talk about it, I get upset. Let, let me just ask your opinion on two upcoming fights. Uh, David Hay and, and uh, Tyson Fury, how do you see this fight going? I, 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 okay. Don't take it this wrong way. I put money, 50 pounds on might be a not contest because Tyson Fury is a traveler and his whole traveling family will be around ring size. So if Tyson Fury gets knocked down, if he's not going to make the count, his family is going to jump in the ring. And I make that a must, they will jump in the ring. If Tyson boxes and keeps David away and is boxing and boxing him, he'll win the fight, but he's going to get tired in the later rounds, he's going to get clipped. But... If Tyson goes in there and mixes it up, he's going to get knocked out. So I put, right now I put my money in 50 pounds on no contest. And I put it as a draw fight if no one gets knocked out. Okay. And the big one live on Box Nation this week, Mayweather versus Canelo. How did you see that fight going, Derek? It's, it's easy, easy, easy pickings, man. I'm not even putting money on that. Uh, I just put money on Floyd. Simple as that. Simple as that. All right, just finally, can you explain what this is all about, Derek, this? It's my... Don't be touching my beard, man. What the fuck? Don't, don't touch your shit. Don't touch me, Derek. Shit. I'm talking. <laughs> What's this guy, man? Well, just explain it. Just... Man. What's his problem? Don't shall touch me again, shall, Derek. Shall we do him? Shall we do him in, boys? Yeah, shall we do him in? No, we'll do you in, man. Don't worry, man. Thank you very much. You guys are the best. Keep it up and keep feeding everybody. iPhone... Oh, what, is, what is it? Three years of interviews, and man, I don't remember our name. But it's cool, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. <laughs> now I'm just messing around with you guys. Where's your top, man? I'm cool, man. We're, we're in the rebranding process. This is played process. out, bro. This is played out, bro. Well, what Pharrell's is it? What is it? Out, and that, and that Pharrell's logo there. Yeah. It's played out, man. So we're Box Nation. I don't work for Box Nation. I'm support cool. The course. I do support it, but I don't yeah, work boy, for them. Thank you very much. Cook and Cassius with Derek Chisora here for iFilm London. Thank you I very much. That's it, boys. Thank you.